Good morning. Welcome to East High School. We are here today to announce the STEAM Rising Initiative, an exciting partnership among the City of Columbus, Columbus City Schools, Columbus State Community College, and The Ohio State University. My name is Grace Wong. I'm the Executive Vice President for Research, Innovation, and Knowledge at The Ohio State University. I will be your MC today. STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Arts, Mathematics, and Medicine. And the STEAM Rising Initiative we will be announcing here today is about collectively developing STEAM talent here in Columbus by ensuring our youth are aware of this exciting career opportunities and also have access to different educational pathways. We see this as an opportunity for all of us working together as one community to support and empower our youth in our own city. This initiative is more important than ever as we at Ohio State, working with the mayor, the city council president, Shannon Harding, and the Columbus City Council, the Jobs Ohio, and also the state, among many others, to develop our 270 acres west to the Ohio State University main campus into the Innovation District. We hope to develop the Innovation District into a technology hub and also a talent magnet so that we can enable leading edge research, technology translation, experiential learning, job opportunities, startups, and economic growth in a highly concentrated live, play, and innovate environment. And it is important and timely to prepare our own workforce in our own city to capitalize on these investments and opportunities. So you will hear more about the STEAM Rising Initiative today from our distinguished speakers. Uh, but before I turn it over to our speakers, I want to recognize all our colleagues, colleagues across many organizations who have been working on this initiative. I wish I have time today to uh, thank all our colleagues by name, but that's simply not possible because many people have been working on this. So that said, I do want to recognize a few colleagues who have exemplified this work and also the spirit of the partnership in our own community. First, Dr. Don um, uh, Pope Davis, yeah. our Dean of College of Education and Human Ecology at Ohio State. And Ms. Trudy Bartley, our Associate Vice President for Local and Community Relations at Ohio State. Dr. Randy Smith, our Vice Provost for Academic Programs at Ohio State, and Dr. Uh, Beth Hume, our Vice Provost at Ohio State. I also want to recognize Dr. Rebecca Butler, the Executive Vice President at Columbus State, and also Ms. Monique Jacquet, the Chief of Staff at uh, the Columbus City Schools, and Ken Paul, the Chief of Staff to the Mayor, and also our wonderful partner and colleague, um, the Director of Development at the City of Columbus, uh, Michael Stevens. Thank you so much for the partnership. And this and many of our uh, more colleagues have been working behind the scenes diligently to guide us to this point today. And they will be critical as we move this initiative forward. So thank you so much for your leadership and your partnership and your effort. So now I would like to start by introducing a true partner, a friend, and also a true leader to our community. 
his passion for our great city, and his drive to ensure that all residents to have access to job opportunities and also education in our community cannot be understated. His leadership is valuable to our community at this critical juncture as we try to recover from pandemic. So please join me to welcome our mayor, Mayor Andrew Ginther. Thank you. Good morning. I know it's a little gray and chilly, but it is a beautiful morning in the city of Columbus here at the East High School in one of our greatest uh, neighborhoods. My favorite tiger, at least until I run into President uh, Kevin Boyce of the County Commission, my favorite tiger is right here, Senator Herschel Craig. Uh, thank you for all your support of this great effort and all of your incredible uh, service. Uh, Dr. Wong, we are so thrilled you are here and President Johnson continues to assemble a, a world-class team uh, taking us forward. And this is a, a great example uh, folks are asking, what is the Columbus Way? Today's announcement is another great example of the Columbus Way. We think we collaborate better here in Columbus than anywhere around the country and the world. Great partnership between The Ohio State University, Columbus State Community College, Columbus City Schools, all of us, the city, working together to make sure that the children in Columbus neighborhoods see themselves in this incredible new innovation district and are gonna lead us forward in the future. Together with Jobs Ohio Nationwide Children's Hospital, earlier this year, Ohio State announced one of its biggest endeavors yet. The university is investing $1 billion to build the innovation district on the West Campus. It's a collaborative effort involving hundreds of students, academic researchers, community leaders, Fortune 500 businesses, and new startups to realize cutting edge ideas and discoveries right here in Columbus. From the start, Ohio State President Johnson pledged to build vibrant futures for businesses and communities alike. I asked President Johnson, how do we attract and support the best and brightest students from across the country and the world, and also from right here in our own city, in these neighborhoods. What will it take for a third grader at Avondale Elementary to envision herself as a climate scientist in the Innovation District? How do we connect a member of the robotics team at Lyndon McKinley STEM to an internship at one of those Fortune 500 companies? And how do we better inspire creativity and curiosity in our early start pre-K students? The answer in part is through education and mentorship, focusing on science, technology, engineering, arts, mathematics, and medicine. Fields of study that represent proven pathways for upward mobility. We are America's opportunity city, but for us to fully realize that vision, we have to first become America's equal opportunity city, the nation's capital for upward mobility. But as you might expect, racial and gender disparities exist. They are realities we have to acknowledge, recognize, and if we're committed to equity, address and own the remedy. According to the National Science Foundation, black women make up approximately 6.5% of the US population, but only 2% of the STEM workforce. It's absolutely critical we vastly expand access and opportunity for underserved and underrepresented populations, which is a guiding philosophy for my equity agenda. This work may seem daunting at first, but with the rise of the Innovation District, opportunity is at our doorstep. Ohio State has already committed to educating 22,500 graduates within 15 years, a truly ambitious goal. The SEAM Rising program that we're announcing here today will help to ensure that students from Columbus City Schools are ultimately included among those graduating classes. We will start early, as young as pre-K and kindergarten, to educate and inspire students to become leaders and scholars for careers and disciplines of the future. 
and we'll train hundreds of teachers to provide first-rate instruction. I'm grateful to our partners at Ohio State, as well as Dr. Dixon and President Harrison, for contributing expertise and resources to create this program and expand our collective impact for children and families in this community. I look forward to seeing the numerous ways in which our community and our young people will benefit from this dynamic collaboration. For those that wonder what this Columbus Way, what partnerships bring as far as benefit for the community, this is a perfect example of that. We believe that partnerships and collaboration ought to lift up the residents and taxpayers of this community. And that's exactly what this partnership does. Dr. Wong, I'll turn it back over to you. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Ginther. Now it's my pleasure to introduce Dr. Christina Johnson. Dr. Johnson brings with her 30 years of experience and leadership in education, in research, in innovation, and public policy. Dr. Johnson is visionary and passionate about education, and she's strongly committed to access and affordability of higher education. Please welcome the president of The Ohio State University, Dr. Christina Johnson. Thank you very much, Dr. Wong. It is a pleasure to be here today with these partners and especially with our mayor um, to hear about another example of the Columbus Way. Uh, it's, uh, we're a land grant university. The mission of The Ohio State University is to spread opportunity as widely as possible. And I can't think of a better, better program than Steam Rising. Clearly, the opportunities are here for the taking in science, technology, engineering, the arts, mathematics, and medicine. Nationwide, the Bureau of Labor Statistics expects that the United States will add a million jobs in the STEM field by 2030. These jobs will change the trajectories of individual lives and entire families, if not cities. The median wage in 2020 in STEM occupations is more than double those of non-STEM occupations and that's nearly 90,000 a year. These jobs also determine the future of cities like Columbus. Businesses and institutions of all kinds need young innovators and they go where the innovators are. So how can we encourage more young people in this city to become innovators? In 2019, a study by the Opportunity Insights Group of the Economists at Harvard University used big data to answer just that question. More than anything else, what matters is childhood exposure to other innovators. For girls, growing up in an area that has a lot of women innovators was decisive. For boys, it was growing up around male innovators and inventors. The talents of, and the authors of that study also concluded that talented girls, underrepresented minority children, and children from low-income families, if they were to get that early exposure to the culture of discovery and innovation, the number of inventors in the American economy could quadruple. At Ohio State, where our annual research development budget and expenditures exceed a billion dollars, we clearly have much to contribute. And one of my major initiatives is over the next 10 years to double those expenditures to $2 billion. We can contribute so much to giving Columbus K through 12 students a sense of what it means to work in creative or discovery-oriented fields. That is particularly true as we build out the Innovation District and our Arts Districts, which will employ tens of thousands of potential role models. With our wonderful partners, we're going to create pathways that convey children from kindergarten in the Columbus City Schools all the way through Columbus State Community College and Ohio State to extraordinary contributions that they will make to our city, our state, and our world. We will offer programming to engage them. We will help to train and inspire their STEAM teachers at scale. We'll also establish STEAM scholarships that will identify the most talented students in the Columbus City Schools and help them develop their interests and support them through their education at Columbus State and Ohio State. STEAM Rising has the potential to transform Columbus in the long term by helping children live up to their full potential. And I'm so proud to be part of this initiative. 
I thank you all for joining us today, and I'll turn it back over to Dr. Wong. Thank you. Thank you, President Johnson. And next, I would like to introduce a passionate leader and educator for our youth, Dr. Talisa Dixon. Dr. Dixon is superintendent and chief executive officer of our Columbus City Schools. She also serves as superintendent in residence at Ohio State's College of Education and Human Ecology. Please join me and welcome Dr. Talisa Dixon. Thank you, Dr. Wong. On behalf of all the rising scholars, their families, and dedicated teachers in Columbus City Schools, I would like to say thank you to the City of Columbus, the Ohio State University, Columbus State Community College. It's because of community partnerships and investments in education such as this that allows us to keep the district's North Star in our sights and continue to paint the portrait of a graduate in CCS. As educators, we strive to prepare our students for the future success in their studies at programs such as Ohio State and Columbus State, along with preparing them to make a lasting impact in the ever-changing workforce. As education builds on the foundation of STEM, STEAM accomplishes just that. Research shows students with STEM and STEAM backgrounds typically outperform their peers. And as we think about how we can empower CCS students to become global learners, it is important that we as a district become more intentional with our approach of integrating science, technology, engineering, arts, math, and now medicine into our curriculum, especially with our youngest learners. And it's not hard to see why we're introducing pre-K through 12th grades to studies and careers in the medical field. If the last 18 months have taught us anything, it's that we can't have too many doctors, researchers, or nurses. These brilliant minds have saved countless lives during this pandemic, and who's to say that the next innovative breakthrough in medicine can't come from a student who today is walking these halls of East High School and will one day study under the tutelage of the renowned doctors at the Wexner Medical Center, or the James. We know what our students are capable of, and we must continue to steer them down these paths, rich with academic opportunities, opportunities that will allow them to lead an innovative economy. As a lifelong educator, the opportunities this incredible partnership with the Ohio State's College of Education and Human Ecology and College of Arts and Science creates for current and future CCS students and teachers to continue learning and eventually earn a Master's of Education in STEAM are not lost on me. Over the next five years, teachers across all grade levels and content areas would get to take advantage of unique professional development summer institutes and grant opportunities that would enable them to embed STEAM thinking into their classrooms. Through collaboration, not only will we see an increase in STEAM-led teachers in the district, STEAM lead teachers, excuse me, in the district, we will also construct new STEAM-focused curriculum maps housed within a curriculum, collaborative curriculum repository and align closely with the higher education framework our scholars would be exposed to as students at the university level. The partnership between Columbus City Schools and Mayor Ginther's office, Ohio State, Columbus Community College, 
have been longstanding. And in my third year as a superintendent in this district, I am thankful that you remain at the table as thought partners in this important work. The work we've done and will do will create a brighter future for the city of Columbus and Columbus City Schools. A bright future led by our students. Thank you. And now back to you, Dr. Warren. Thank you, Dr. Dixon. Now I would like to introduce Dr. David Harrison. Dr. Harrison is a recognized leader in workforce development and education. He believes that education and career opportunities is a lifelong journey, and he has dedicated his career to ensuring students have access to different pathways to reach their own goals. Please welcome Columbus State Community College President, Dr. David Harrison. Thank you, Dr. Wong, and thank you, Dr. Dixon, for hosting us at this fabulous uh, location. Um, it's always good to follow great leaders and speakers, um, if I agree with everything they've said. Um, but uh, at Columbus State, we've got a pandemic tradition uh, where we start every meeting with gratitude. Uh, and I want to thank uh, Mayor Ginther and President Johnson for their bold vision around the Innovation District. Uh, they started thinking big and are really working that plan from the beginning. The opportunity to have a focal point for innovation in our community uh, is something that we've needed for a long time. Uh, and to really have a portal for OSU's expertise that's accessible to all of us, I think is brilliant. What STEAM Rising does is um, uh, gives us an opportunity to create an innovation district throughout Columbus and really use the innovation district at OSU uh, as an incubator. The ability to connect with these great partners to create that kind of ecosystem is something that will truly set Columbus and Central Ohio apart uh, nationally. This is an opportunity for a systemic focus on equitable, pa equitable pathways to good jobs and high growth careers. It builds on existing strong partnerships. The City of Columbus, Mayor Ginther, uh, have been great partners for us in workforce development, programs like Fast Path and others. Uh, our par preferred pathway partnership with Ohio State uh, which has been in place for 10 years now, um, where Columbus State graduates are guaranteed admission uh, to Ohio State, is by far the most affordable bachelor's degree, degree pathway uh, in the state of Ohio. And our partnership with uh, Columbus City Schools continues to expand, uh, building by building, student by student, uh, as we work to have more and more Columbus City Schools students earn college credit uh, while still uh, in high school. Columbus State's role uh, in this partnership is to uh, really work with employers around the future of work. That's something that, uh, that we spend a lot of time on. And we do see this as a transformative moment uh, in our community. As the mayor mentioned, um, we have had uh, gaps, uh, opportunity gaps in terms of uh, neighborhoods and individuals not having access uh, to the economic growth we've experienced as a region. Those gaps have widened. Uh, during the pandemic. Uh, employers are thinking creatively now in ways that they never have, both in terms of making sure that the ability for job training for more and more technical jobs uh, is available, but their focus on, on equity uh, is something that uh, is authentic and the ability to think differently about what the jobs are and how people access them and who has opportunity to access those jobs is something that is a high level conversation in our community right now. By building the infrastructure and the ecosystem back through the, the Columbus City School system and having teachers actively involved, teachers who are the, the trusted partners uh, for, for children and students and families, to have them understand the future of work and the career pathways that are available and the steps to get there is something that I think can create, uh, again, an equitable ecosystem uh, in our community that will be second to none. 
Uh, thank you for including Columbus State in this great partnership. We look forward to working on this uh, important effort. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, President Harrison. And with that, we would like to um, answer a few questions from the media about the Steam Rising Initiative. If you please raise your hand if you have questions, and when I, I will call on you. And when I do, please uh, indicate your name, the media outlet you are representing, and also to whom you are directing your questions to. And we can start. Thank you. Any questions? Yes. Question for Dr. Jensen. I was just wondering, will this change graduation requirements for the district? Yeah, Dr. Dixon, uh, Thank you. So your question was, will this change graduation requirements for the? It won't change the requirements, but it will and um, increase the rigor and it will allow our students to have access to science um, earlier and those in those experience earlier so what we don't want to do when we're talking about um, that opportunity gaps and increasing equity you know, access to rigorous courses we can allow our students to have access earlier um, when we talked about pre-k through 12 how do we create those classrooms where students are exposed to STEAM earlier? And that's why that partnership with Ohio State University and that professional development is so important because our teachers will be learning from the best um, to help them create those lessons. So what we hope it would do, it will add to their, um, their diploma. They can um, actually get diploma seals um, for us, we're looking at a portrait of a graduate seal that will be ali aligned to our, our vision. But there are other opportunities that this will add to their experience and get them on the campus of Columbus State. So there are opportunities to get on the campus of uh, Columbus State. There are opportunities for them to learn in our career centers. So again, it just adds to their opportunity to get them prepared for the workforce or college. Uh, but the STEAM is important, and we want to make sure that all of our students in Columbus have access to um, this opportunity. Great question. Thank you. Any other questions? Yeah. Yes, please. Um, can you describe what Columbus State's role in partnership is? Uh, yeah, Dr. Davidson is a. Uh, can you describe what Columbus State's role in this partnership? Yeah. We've got a couple different roles. First of all, um, we want to work with Ohio State uh, to and Colum uh, Columbus City Schools to create more two plus two pathways for educators, for teachers to come through um, through the system. We think there's an opportunity uh, as a community to truly grow our own. Uh, in that regard and to have uh, Columbus City Schools students come through this teacher pipeline over time could be transformative. Uh, and as I said before, uh, our connections, our partnerships, shoulder to shoulder partnerships with employers really allows us to be the voice in the room to, to keep um, our eye on the ball with regard to um, the end goal, which is to help more and more kids uh, get into STEAM-based careers uh, for uh, a high-growth opportunity. Thank you. Anything else? Any other questions? No? Well, thank you so much for being here today, and please join me to thank Mayor Ginther, President Johnson, and Dr. Dickson, and uh, President Harrison, and, uh, and our colleagues. Um, that concludes our press conference. Thank you so much.